Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents, proclaiming God's word over God's Church of Love members online, specifically and God's people on YouTube and around the world in general. All right, this is our proclamation. Praise waiteth for thee, O God, in Zion, and unto thee shall the vow be performed. O thou that hearest prayer, unto thee shall all flesh come. Iniquities prevail against me. As for our transgressions, thou shalt purge them away. Blessed is the man whom thou choosest and causest to approach unto thee, that he may dwell in thy courts. We shall be satisfied with the goodness of thy house, even of thy holy temple. By terrible things and righteousness wilt thou answer us. Terrible things is like another word for wonderful things in the Bible. Okay. O God of our salvation, who art the confidence of all the ends of the earth, and of them that are far off upon the sea, which by his strength setteth fast the mountains, being girded with power, which stilleth the noise of the seas, the noise of their waves, and the tumult of the people. They also that dwell in the uttermost parts of, are afraid at thy tokens. Thou makest the outgoings of the morning and evening to rejoice. Thou visitest the earth and waterest it. Thou greatly enrichest it with the river of God, which is full of water. Thou preparest them corn when thou hast so provided for it. Thou waterest the ridges thereof abundantly. Thou settlest the furrows thereof. Thou makest it soft with showers. Thou blessest the springing thereof. Thou crownest the year with thy goodness and thy paths drop fatness. They drop upon the pastures of the wilderness and the little hills rejoice on every side. The pastures are clothed with flocks. The valleys also are covered over with corn. They shout for joy. They also sing. Now, this is my way of sharing with you. No matter what's going on in this world, no matter what Trump's going to take away, no matter what's going to stop, no matter what's going to be ripped off, no matter what they're going to discontinue, no matter what goes wrong, God has promised to take care of his people. Do not panic. Do not worry. You have no need. Believe and trust in God. Trust in his love for you. Trust in him wanting the best for you. His promise is that it shall be well with thee. But you must walk in his ways. You can't play with him. This is not the time to toy with his mercy. This is not the time to stretch the envelope and play on the edge, straddling the fence. This is the time to pull in, pull in your reins, get it together so that you can get the best from God. God will always give us way more than we ever give him. So give him the best you can so that you can get the mostest, the mostest, I know, I know, but you get what I mean. Get all you can from God. He loves you with an everlasting love. He's not a deadbeat dad. He promises to take care of his people. He says in Psalms 37, and thou sh verily thou shalt be fed. We have no need to worry. God will pull all kind of people out the woodwork with the wherewithal and the, and the means to take care of God's people. God will work all kind of miracles. Some of you may have to sell your homes. You don't know what may come. But remember, God's going to move you up. He's going to bless your life as long as you're being a blessing to him. Don't play now. This is not the time to play. It's time to get real serious right in here. The more you pull in the reins of your heart, your attitudes, your thoughts, your words, your actions, the more you can expect from your father. Now, it's not about you get, uh, it's not about works, but remember that your faith without works is dead. The devils believe and tremble. So you can't just believe. 
You must act on what you believe. So get to acting. Get to working on it. Press in. Cry out to your father when you feel panic climbing up your spinal column. Ask God to strengthen you on the inner man and give you instruction, direction, and, and provision, supernatural provision. Ask God for protection, for total healing. See, I'm pursuing God for my total healing. I don't want to have to need Medicare. I don't want to have to use Medi-Cal. I want to be able to say, God, and I'm healed. I want to be able to look to the hills from whence cometh my help because my help comes from the Lord. Where does your help come from? Who are you putting your trust in? That's my word of exhortation for you. This is not the time to panic. This is the time to pray. Draw in close. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And I'm feeling that so strong, I've got to read it over you too. So you just sit tight and get God's word in your spirit and know it's being spoken over your life and take it to the bank. This you can spend. You can always spend God's promises. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God. In him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror. Listen, let me read it again. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth in noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him or demonstrate. Show him my salvation. Take that to the bank. That's your promise from God. I don't care whether we're in the dark ages, the light ages, if, if, if Babylon is falling. I don't care what goes on in this country or what doesn't happen in this country. I don't care if this is the be beginning of sorrows. The higher you go in God, the less you'll feel the sting. Trust me when I say that. That's God's word. He that dwelleth in the secret place. That's a high place in the Lord. You're abiding under the shadow of the Almighty. That's like a baby chick hiding up under the wing of his mother hen. Mother, ch mother chicken, whatever. You're totally under mama's protection. Nothing can harm you. If God be for you, who can be against you? Ask yourself that question. Is that, that's word too. Ask yourself that question. You know the answer. It's rhetorical. All right. Um, I had to share that with you because I know a lot of times when stuff starts cutting loose, you know, like they're talking about 
cutting off Social Security, Medicare, whatever. Let them. God shall supply all my needs according to his riches and glory. Who's going to supply yours? Who do you believe is going to supply yours? I leave you with that. God bless you with all the faith you can muster up in God.